Welcome to another Tech Health video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a list box to filter records in your Microsoft Access databases. Today's question comes from Shannon in Coon Rapids, Minnesota, one of my Platinum members. Shannon says, I'd like to be able to quickly filter my customer list based on the state they're from. Can you make a simple list box of all the states so my employees can just click on one and it filters the list? A lot of them are not very computer savvy and I don't want to have to teach them how to right click, filter, etc. I just want a nice big list box with all the states we have customers in. There are like six of them. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's see how we do that. Before we get started, there's three other videos I want you to watch. Query criteria. You'll need that one. Aggregate queries is where we can group records together. We'll need that for making the state list. And watch my intro to VBA class. Don't be afraid of VBA. I got a 20 minute primer that'll teach you all you need to know about VBA. It's absolutely free. It's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel. Go watch it. We are literally going to need one line of VBA code to do this. Can we do it without VBA? Yeah, we can. There's a little workaround we could do, but trust me, this one line of VBA code, it'll be worth it. So you're going to want to learn how to do this. Okay, so here we are inside my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website. Go watch the videos where I build this too. You can find links to all this stuff down below in the description below the video. Now in my database, I've got a customer list. There's all my customers. You can see the states that they're from are right there. You can double click on any one of these to open up their customer record. What Shannon wants is a way like a list box right here where we can click on the list box and it will open up just the customer list showing the customers from that state. Because yeah, you could teach your people how to open this up and then come in here and then right click and then go to equals Florida and that puts a filter on. But like she said, some people aren't very computer savvy. And especially if you have a locked down database, if you've gone through like my security seminar, you often want to disable that right click menu for security purposes. So it's, it's nice to have an easier way to do this. So let's make a list box right here that has all of the states that we have customers in and you can see there's only a couple of them florida iowa new york and texas all right so that's where the aggregate query comes in let's go to queries create query design i'm going to bring in my customer table all right let's bring in just the state field right there now if i run this now you can see there's all of the customer records and all of the states first thing i'm going to do is get rid of null values all right so this is where the criteria comes in so the criteria is going to be is not null is not null, just like that. All right, now when I run it, I don't see any blank records, but I still got double ups. I still got Florida in there twice. So let's make an aggregate query to group these by state. So it'll group all the like ones together. So come over here and click on the totals button. And now you can see it says group by. And now when I run it, there you go. There's an individual unique list of the states. And if we could further sort it, if you want to sort it, right? Ascending, all the list box will sort it for us. Okay, so let's save this, control S, save this as my state queue, there's my state query. And now I've got a nice little query that I can make my list box for, for my selection list. So go to design view for the main menu. Let's find list boxes up here. Where are you at? Right there. This will also work with a combo box, but I decided to pick a list box. Why? I'll tell you why at the end of the video. All right, so the list box wizard's a good wizard. I want to pick up the values from another table of query. Yep, where am I getting them from? Queries. State queue is the query that we just built. Bring over that state field. Next. Here's where you can sort it if you like. Sure, we'll sort by state ascending. Next. Maybe resize that a little bit. Doesn't have to be quite that big. Next. Label. We're going to delete it anyways and then finish. All right, there's the label. Let's get rid of that. So here's my nice little thin list of states. We'll put that right there. I'm going to move the customer list over here next to it. So we know what this is for. And you can make your form look pretty if you want to. I'm just doing it like this. Okay, so save this form, close it. Let's open it back up again. This is the main menu form. I put a button up here on my quick launch toolbar because I use this in almost all my videos. All right, here it is. So I got a list of states right there. Right now, this doesn't do anything. It's just a pretty little list of states we can look at, right? Hi, how are you doing states? All right, the customer list still opens up all the customers. I'm gonna slide that over there and save it in that spot right there. Okay, so here's where that one line of EBA code comes in. I want one line of VBA code, so when I click on one of these states, it opens up that state, that, that customer list box, 
or excuse me, that customer list form <laughs> with just the customers from that state. So right click, design view. First of all, let's give this guy a good name because the wizard doesn't name it for us. It's called list 16 right now. That's not very helpful. Let's change the name to state list. Okay, so now what do I want to do? I want to open up the customer list form and show only the records where the state list is equal to their state. Okay, so events, we're, gonna, we're in the state list box, right? Events, find the on click event. This is going to happen when you click on this list box. So as soon as you click on New York, it's going to open up that form and show everybody from New York. All right, click the dot, dot, dot builder button. Now, you might get a window up that says, what kind of builder do you want? Pick the code builder. If you watch my intro to VBA class, you know what that's about. All right, so I'm right down here in the state list click. One line of code is all we need. Do command dot open form. What form do we need? We need the customer list F. All right. Now, comma, comma, comma. We're at the where condition. All right. Now, the where condition is going to look something like this. It's going to say where the state which is a field on the customer form, equals New York, like that, okay? But that New York has to be, those quotes inside there have to be double, double quotes like this, okay? Double, double quotes, because remember, quotes inside of a string have to be double, double quotes. That's another video I've got if you want to go watch that too. It, it explains this in a little more detail. If you put double quotes inside of a string, you have to use double, double quotes. Probably should have put that on the prerequisite list up front, right? Double, double quotes, okay? And we're going to use a little string concatenation in a minute. That's putting two strings together. I'll show you that in a second, too. So here, this will open up the customer list form and show me all of the records where the state equals New York, okay? And I'm just hard coding that in there for now. All right, let's close this. Save changes, yes. Open it back up again. Now, if I click on this, there's the one record from New York. But I hard-coded New York in there, so no matter what I click on, I'm getting New York. I don't want to hard-code New York in there. I want to use whatever is in the value in this box, right? So let's go back to our code window, and instead of putting New York in there, I'm going to put that state list in there. So I'm going to use some concatenation. So it's going to look like this. Close quotes, ampersand, state list, ampersand, open quotes. See that? It's a little tricky, I know, because it's a text string. That's why. So this is going to look like state equals quote... New York, and then the close quotes there. See that? Yeah, I know. This whole double, double quote thing is crazy. I didn't come up with this. I just have to teach you how to do it, right? Okay, so save that. I said one line of code. I didn't say it was going to be a simple line of code. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Florida, Iowa, New York, Texas. See that? That's how you do it. You click on it, you get that state. If it's a numeric criteria, by the way, if it's an ID, if you got like a list of, you know, states from a table over here, then it's easier. You don't need all those double, double quotes. That's just crazy. All right. But we're doing it with the actual state text. And now if your users want to turn that off, they just got to click on the filter down here. That's easy to teach them, right? It goes back to everybody. Or if this is closed and they click on customer list, it'll open up everybody. But if they want to filter it, just click on that and it'll filter it for you. See how easy? See how simple? Now, why did I pick a list box? A combo box will work just fine. Or you can even type it in a text box. Well, I picked a list box because in the extended cut for the members, I'm going to show you how to make this a multi-select list box. So you can say, show me everybody from New York and Florida at the same time. That'll be in the extended cut for the members. If you want to learn more in the extended cut for the members, I show you how to turn that list box into a multi-select list box. So you can say, pick Florida and New York and Texas and whatever else, and then hit the customer list button and boom. It brings up all of those customers from all of those states. Okay? There it is. Give me Iowa and Texas. Boom. There you go. See that? That's covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all the extended cut videos. All of them. There's like 200 and some of them now. Lots of them. All right? And gold members can actually download these databases. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. 
You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.